Hello guys, so today in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create an auto shake or auto vibration uh, setup for your uh, object or rig or anything you want to, to shake, okay? So the first thing you have to do, I'm, I'm going to show you the easiest way and then I'm going to make it a little bit more um, custom. So the easiest way is to go to selecting the the object, in this case I don't have any rigging here and go to expression, selecting any channel expressions and it's called let's, let me change this name first <laughs> it's, it's going to be called ship okay, so it's called ship and I'm going to write like if you, if well, I'm going to make it very very easy ship dot a scale x you can write the scale x or just sx like this it's the same scale x equals rand which is randomization and you write a parenthesis and you put here a, do a randomization of a scale x between this number and this number so if you put like for example um, 0 0.9 comma 1.1 is going sorry 1.1 is going to be a uh, randomization between this and this okay but it's quite a lot in this case it's quite a lot so you can write like semicolon and then write exactly the same two times more and write instead of x a scale x a scale y and a scale set create and if you hit play, it's going to look like crazy, right? <laughs> so that's a lot, like doing that. So what are what we're going to do is to limit this a little bit. So you can put like nine point ninety nine and just one, and it still is going to be a lot. So, but even though I think this is better. Uh, oopsie like this uh-huh wait I think I didn't hit edit yeah there and if I hit play now I have still a lot right so I'm going to show you how you can control this as how you want it okay so I'm going to create an attribute to control this so it's going to be uh, auto shake okay and it's going to be from 0 to 5 or something like that you can put 0 to 10 but that's quite a lot so you put 0 to 5 add okay and then I'm going to write a, a little bit more complex expression here I'm going to write like a variable in expression is like a dollar sign let me make this bigger dollar sign min which is the mean value equals uh, ship which is the name of the group dot auto shake which is the name of the attribute um, uh, divided by a hundred but I forgot this <laughs> It's going to be uh, min equals one minus ship dot auto shake uh, divided by hundred and max value is going to be one plus and exactly the same. So the auto shake divided by hundred is going to be like, for example, I put one point two divided by a hundred is going to be a really really small number so you put a uh, one minus that and it's going to be a really 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 small number here so it's not going to be that crazy so the thing is um, that by doing this you can just put rand between min and max okay so it's going to be a randomization between this number and this number, which is really small values. And the good thing about this, 
let me edit this okay cool is that now for example i have it in zero so right now it's not doing anything if i put it in one see it's really really smooth values here and now it's doing a little bit of shaking you can put you can use decimals if you want to make it very very like 0 0.2 or something and see it's almost nothing so you can control how much amount of shakiness you want five is quite a lot see it's like crazy again but you can control this and if you put a, a bigger number here it's going to be more and more and more right but for me, I think it's between zero and one, zero and two, the most, right? So if you put it like this, it's going. It looks like it's starting, like it's uh, ready to, ready to move on. Something like that, okay? And that's how you create an auto shaking um, attribute.